2024 had a horrible start for Draft League. My results in the WBG and the BBR were not up to standard. Let's talk about them. The WBG was my first attempt at a VGC league. And after winning week one, I managed to only win one match the rest of the season, finishing two and six. I did not really have high expectations going into this, but in a league where eight out of 12 coaches made playoffs, this would have been a pretty good opportunity to make a playoff run. Will this be my last attempt at a VGC league? Not 100% sure yet. My journey in VGC is certainly not done, as I have plans to play in Global Challenge 3 at the end of the month and will likely be at the Los Angeles Regionals in May. However, I'm not sure the VGC doubles format makes sense to me building-wise yet, and given that I am likely to be consistently in a singles Wi-Fi draft league for the foreseeable future, it is hard for me to really see a world where, where I end up playing in another VGC draft league. Where I feel behind here is in the builder. My goal was to draft the team that was primarily offense first at all times, designed to click attacks aggressively and often. This is mainly due to the fact that I do not really have an in-depth knowledge of the format, especially in comparison to some of the players who regularly play VGC and VGC Draft League. In some of my games, you can see me clearly off caught off guard by strategies that I would have never considered in the builder. Scary Face Thunderous in week 5 comes to mind. This lack of attention to detail caused me to lose a lot of games and sets that I may have otherwise had a chance at winning. Despite this, I was in a lot of games I played and a lot of them coming down to key moments whether I either slightly missed a roll or made a slight misstep. In this sense, I am happy with a lot of my performances. Week 7 against Liv comes to mind, where I lost off lead 4-0 in game 1 but managed to get within a 99% roll of potentially winning game 3 to take the set and make playoffs. It's sets like this that give given me the additional confidence going into Global Challenge 3 and Los Angeles Regionals, hoping to put up a decent result at either of those events. Overall, the result of this league isn't great, but I'm happy that I stepped out of my comfort zone in a format I have little experience in outside of playing in Toronto Regionals, and made I think good strides in terms of playing the doubles format. It is unlikely that I return to VGC Draft as the building aspect of doubles really wasn't my cup of tea but this is certainly the not, not the last video you will see of VGC on this channel. The BBR season, however, hurts much more. After making playoffs last season in BBR, we finished dead last this season at 1-7. Unlike VGC, this is a format I am familiar, very familiar with at this stage, but my results have been going down each season I've played, with a poor result in the GPU as well. What went wrong this season? Primarily, there were some key in-game mistakes that were made. Week 2 versus Gentleman Thomas is a microcosm of basically the entire season where a large amount of mistakes in-game and in-preparation cost me. Not clicking Volt Switch on turn 1 with Raging Bolt, leading me to having to take extra damage on my Meowskrat in the mid-game, complicated my end-game plan versus Necrozma. This resulted in me getting swept from a very winnable position after my prep had earned me some very good kills. Using Lure Palafin to get both the Gouging Fire and the Ogre Pawn in this matchup was very crucial as it was able to swing a potentially unfavorable matchup back into my favor in the mid game. This lack of focus and details in game and in preparation at times really cost me as I started out 0 4, losing a lot of games as a result of this. Starting 0 4 basically killed all the momentum I had in this season, and despite getting a win back against T Row Price in week number 5, we had an unfortunate game against Goldoa Dragon where he hacks me the first three or four turns of the game consistently and I was not able to come back from that. I'm not really sure despite the hacks whether I even had a chance in this game due to the nature of the matchup, but it was certainly frustrating to take a loss like that during a pivotal moment of the season. A lack of focus on team building, battling, and content creation I think led to a lot of the failures of this season and limiting the amount of leagues and stuff that I play in will allow me to have a more focused effort on leagues like the BBR in the future. I have confidence in my ability to win games with a good team and too often this season left myself without the tools to win matchups that I was confident in. The next BBR will not be for a long while and as there are some other projects coming up that we will talk about in a second, there isn't really a chance to right the wrong of this league just yet. So what's next? We get to start with a clean slate this March. Three new leagues and tournaments where we start with a 0-0 record, hoping to right the wrongs of 2024 so far. Low Tier Mayhem is a new low tier Wi-Fi league hosted by OG Albina, Obo, and Panther 2 that will be starting this month, where we are cutting a good portion of the points board, playing in a metagame focused around a different set of top tier mods. As someone who has been oftentimes quoted as hating the top 16 to 18 points worth of Pokemon of Generation 9, I'm super excited to try out low tier as I think we'll likely see a lot more interesting gameplay. This will be the only Wi-Fi draft league I have planned for the next couple of months, 
really allowing me to refocus on my singles building and battling process. Emerald Open 4, the tournament that I host every year, also has pool games going on right now and will be in the bracket stage as this video goes live. I will be doing some periodic streaming during the tournament as well, where we're going to cover, cover some of Wi-Fi community's players' replays, as well as some of the biggest games of the tournament. I will likely upload my games at some point, but I will save that for when the video comes out. And finally, the Oras Smogon Tour. For years since team tours have been a thing, I've always been interested in building a team around two specific Pokemon, Mega Charizard Y and Cresselia. Why would I be interested in doing that? Because I think it would be fun to abuse Zard Y as a steel breaker while giving Sun to boost Moonlight recovery from Cresselia. Will this team composition work out? I'm not sure, but this tournament gives me the opportunity to try out something new in a fairly solved format. There will be a video on this tournament as well likely in the coming months. So that's all I have for today. This is the next couple of months in terms of Draft League on this channel. You'll have also noticed last week I uploaded a Usum retrospective video about another Draft League I did this year. So expect a lot more scripted content like that to come out in the future where we get to limit our Draft League games to just one a week. That's all I have for today. I will see you next time. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I'm hoping to hit a thousand subscribers this year and I think this next couple of months will put me on a good path in terms of my content to produce the best stuff possible for you. So that's all I have for today. I'll see you next time. And as always, have a wonderful day.